Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we are Let's Playing Xenogears. In the last episode, we got Wise Man stuff by collecting three rocks. And from what I can tell, he's a drug addict. Plus, he loves Choo Choo, which is fine. I'm not saying a grown man can't love a uh, little Choo Choo thing, but geez, Louise. You gotta, or jeezy crazy, you gotta really watch out. You get in trouble for that. So let's go to the palace. And here it is. No cool, cool music like in uh, the other one. Oh, sweet, we keep going on with the sweet ass music. And Maria wants us to head that way, but of course, in typical role-playing style, we're going to explore everywhere else beforehand. Yeah, well, uh, God save the queen, right? Uh-huh. So wise man took a choo-choo down the earth. Hmm, this looks like it's right up Satan's alley. Look at the library, huh? That's a stalemate. That's what it is. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, sometimes it's better to be a fool and not know the truth, that's for sure. the Diablos collapse. Ah. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like 500 years ago people of the land in Shivat were, uh, were fighting Solaris, and what ended up happening was something happened where the surface dwellers sort of won, and Solaris had to start all over. And I guess Shivat left the world or something. Yeah, so the Gazelle Ministry is made up of 12 elders that dominated the world with military might. And with that Cain fellow, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the Solar Shiva War was all about 500 years ago. Appeared even Solaris to anticipate. What was the new enemy? Diablos. Whoa, Diablos. Whoa. So then these Diablos people came out of nowhere and destroyed everyone? So then that basically ended the war. Mm. 
Omni Gears, yes. That is the Omni Gears, and one of them is the Ava of Royal Treasure. Interesting. So Omni Gears are kind of like super duper gears, and I think I talked to everybody, yes. Yes, I did. So yeah, look at that. Wealth of information and knowledge about the war that of, of 500 years ago. This is the tactical command room. Yeah, maybe Solvers found something. Let's go in here and talk. The 12 anima relics created by God's wisdom. Ah, oh, so merging an anima relic and, an, uh, and a gear can produce an omni gear. But they, the person who controls the gear must be able to handle the power, basically. And I guess there's like, what, a, what is there, like 12 of them or something? Yeah, that they could even hold back Diablos. So that's what they use to destroy the Diablos. Okay. So you want us to collect animal relics? Yeah. Uh, I will. Will do! So now we're learning all about all kinds of things. Well, that's true. Probably, she probably would. Yeah, she's only 13 years old, and she you're relying on a 13-year-old to, uh, to friggin', well, not save the world, but, like, jeez. Ah, oh, they inserted limiters. So that the people on the earth wouldn't wouldn't fight back? And of course people on earth don't know about limiters. Yeah, so we're learning about all kinds of interesting stuff here. Combat data, lambs or livestock, I've heard that before. And the ethos was there to control the lambs. And all right, I'll be right back. All right, yeah, so... Blah, blah, blah. And animal relics. Basically, what they're saying is... Yeah, the, I get it. They're using lambs as guinea pigs to try and stop... Or to try to sync people up with animal... Blah, blah, animal relics so they can make omni gears. And these limiter things, Tora Meckler, he used to be one of the three sages of Shivat. He knows the way to remove a limiter. And the three sages are Meckler, Bal, Balistar, and Gasper. And they haven't been around since the Great War. Because they lost faith in humans and the tragedy in Nissan. What, what tragedy? Will we hear more about that? And a man named Krillin was the mastermind behind planting limiters. And he learned molecular engineer from Mechlor. Ah, uh, so Krillin was the one who put limiters in the lambs and made them all not be able to rise up. And now they don't even know about rising up. Uh, let's check out over here. Go this way. 
This, I believe, is the prison. This is the prison. Let's check it out. I don't think there's anything of interest down here. Except people in cages. Yeah, well, you guys, uh... War turns bad things and people are bad, bad. I don't even know what that, that means, but... And then we got a carbonite cage which petrifies the human alive. And they're frozen in carbonite like Han Solo. No, I don't know about it. No, I didn't. Alright, alright, yes. Just like Nissan did 500 years ago. Interesting. Interesting. Is this prisons too? This looks like a prison. What's this? Oh, so this is like the death... This is like the lethal injection place. Interesting. Alright, if we keep going down, there should be another area. I haven't explored this place to the fullest in a long, long time ago. The death of Sophia. Oh. Okay, so Sophia died? Yeah, Sophia from uh, Nissan. Yeah, I remember her name. Interesting. And she did kind of look like Ellie. That is true. All right. Um, yeah, okay, we're done there. Yes, something. So you all, you old people are all like 500 years old or something. Alright then. Shattered fragments of a mirror, huh? What does that metaphor even mean? And here we are inside another room. I don't know what you're gonna do. What is this area? Oh yeah, well it isn't easy to get supplies. I mean, you can always steal it from down on the earth or something. So I guess this is just a supply room with various things and whatnots. Yeah, it must be hard running a flying city in the sky. I mean, you probably don't, um... You probably don't get that much, like, food and stuff. It's hard to grow stuff. You live to eat or eat, live to eat, or eat to live. Right, and here we are at the dining room. Yeah, all these people do is talk about the war. I've had it. He's quitting. Are you quitting? Is that what it is? You're a quitter? Hey! You, uh, you e. You, how, how did, wait a minute. How did you get here? Why are you here? Oh, didn't I tell you before I was born? You were from Shiva? 
Oh, so the villagers of Lahan are here. Welcome back. Look, Satan. Oh, it's nice to be back. Thanks for your for your trouble. I'm sorry for putting so much trouble. What are you saying? It's not your fault. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah, oh, they, uh, okay. Oh, because Saurus was behind it. Interesting. Now, Ellie's here. You know what? I've never had Ellie in the group. When I came up here. I don't know if I, I've, I've had Sitan here. Whoa. She talks? How did she talk? Choo Choo, my friend, look, she's talking, Satan. Your daughter, she's talking. Isn't that lovely? Shouldn't you be the proudest dad ever? Midori and Choo Choo talking together. Alright, let's, uh, are we almost done here? Jeez, this place is huge. So much stuff to explore, huh? Really advanced stuff here. Yeah, well, I didn't bring him up. Resemble Khan. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah, my dad was from here, huh? Yeah, no one's seen him in a while. No one has seen him in a long while. Alright, are we done? Rani Fatima. That must be Bart's... Bart's, uh... Ancestors. And Lakehan, huh? I wonder who does a Lakehan. Did I already talk to you? these rooms. This place is huge. You guys still yapping. Okay, here we go. Here's another thing we're learning about. There's this place called Mahanan. And this was the place where God was at. And one day humans entered God's forbidden garden. And God was pissed. And he banished him from paradise. I kind of already heard this from Balistar. And that's how the legend of Genesis was born. Yada, yada, yada. And humans were banished. So in order to resist the power of God, they, they created 12 anima relics. And then for 10... What? And they destroyed God, sort of with the anima relics, and I can only imagine they used Omni Gears. And basically, he... God fell to the depths of Earth. And he's been resting for, like, ever now, it seems. And the people who didn't revolt against God did something, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the animal relics exist. Solaris, the gazelle ministry of relics in the haunted place, blah, blah, blah. No one will be able to stop them. But we'll have to stop Solaris from getting the anima relics. If I remember correctly, that's the reason why Ramses was sent down to Ignis. Wow, I can't be I can't believe that old man. Uh, friggin'. I can't believe that old man snuck into, uh, Solaris. Yeah, what's so special about, uh, Maria's gear? 
Hey, right, let's let's go in this last room and then I'm done for the day. At least this episode. No, I haven't. Yeah. Alright, well, looks like Queen Zyphir is pretty, uh, pretty, she seems like an interesting woman. We're almost back at phase one over here, holy moly, but you know what? I'm just going to save that for the next episode. We'll, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.